All right, so we figured out right now that it depends on what day you're trick or treating mm -hmm. if you're going to need an umbrella or not. Scarier on Saturday. <laughs> um, <laughs> it kind of freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need an evil laugh to go with that too. Yeah, you know, scarier on Saturday. <laughs> Sunday looks there we good. Go. It's pretty good. We'll get, to, we'll get to all that in a sec. First things here. <laughs> Max Track Live Doppler. Nobody trick or treating now, okay? But we do have some high school football games, and some of them are going to have to deal with some rain. So you see the showers that are around. It doesn't rain all game for most folks, but still there could be some pretty damp ones, especially north of 64. Uh, we come in closer first and we show you a shower just above the Bluegrass Parkway there, just as it exits off uh, there from uh, 60, just to the uh, east there of Versailles. So again, you're getting pretty good rain there. Over toward Elk Chester, rain at the Castle in Keeneland. Dunbar, you're back in on the rain again. Midway over to Scott County up there into a Georgetown, you've got rain. Just getting inside New Circle again, not quite past Harrodsburg Road. Heavier rain then in Clark County. Uh, you get to Winchester either side, north and west. You're seeing those showers there on the way up toward a Bourbon County. Also some showers there by Spears over at Raven Run area. You're getting some of that rain. Bigger, bigger picture here for you. West of 127 there in Mercer County. You've got more showers then going out along north I-64, Rowan into Fleming County. You've got more showers across the south here. Different systems causing this. Big picture, they're all the same, but there are little facets to the, the system that uh, are causing different things to happen. We'll get to all that. So again, rain goes up north, then angles back south again. So you've got that rain coming south, you've got that rain coming north. I mean, how cool is this that we're seeing this convergence take place? Because there's that line where the two meet, and the bottom line is that's where we're dealing those little heavier showers in and around central Kentucky. Weather sensitive, you might be feeling it today. The migraines or arthritis, the weather could be impacting you. Terrific for trick-or-treaters on Sunday, and November is not going to start well. So we've been showing you the barometric pressure, and it is really, really low. Now, it's not record low. Uh, the record for Lexington is 28 and change. That was back from the great storm of 1978 in January, uh, one of the epic snowstorms to ever hit the U.S. But what you see here are these low barometric pressure readings. Well, your body has a pressure inside that pushes out, balanced by the pressure outside pushing in. This is why you don't explode. Uh, but when you bring a very low air pressure in, now you're out of balance. And so again, for the weather sensitive, it has an effect on you, and that's why you might be feeling it today. It'll start going away for you tomorrow. Watching this in the big picture, again, you're seeing this gigantic swirl. I mean, this is really magnificent, but you can see little subtle features. You've got one swirl down here separate, a separate swirl down here separate. So that one is the upper low, that one is the surface low, and they're all part of the big picture here, which shows up here on the future track. So we'll take the low, we'll scoot it off to the north. Now by tomorrow, it begins to pull away, but still one more swath of rain comes through tomorrow, then just some scattered showers into the afternoon and evening. And then by Halloween Sunday, we'll start pushing that entire mess out and watch the system coming at us from the northwest. 57 right now at the Bluegrass Airport. We've got a light southwest wind. We made it to 62 earlier today. Cooler where it's been raining a good chunk of the day across the south. We've seen some sunshine north, but the bottom line is we're now all getting in on those clouds and showers. So we've got this big closed upper low that heads to the northeast tomorrow so that tomorrow we're on the north side of this. We're getting the colder push of air to go along with the showers, but looming up here. This is a nasty, nasty shot of cold air that's just going to ooze down our way. And you will see it coming up in the forecast for the end of the week. Trick or treaters on Halloween. What you're looking at, temperatures will be in the 50s for the trick or treat time. It will be dry. It will be cool on Sunday. Overcast, showers, cool tonight, near 50. Tomorrow, mid 50s, more clouds, more rain, more of a chill. Sunday, low 60s. Upper 50s on Monday, still dry, near 50 on Tuesday, 40s and wet the end of the week.